Hello guys, I really wanted to say good morning, but it's afternoon now <laughs> and I'm just now getting up, so yeah, hi. I woke up this morning and was freaking out because there was like an inch of snow on the ground and just in the time it took me to like get up and get dressed and everything, this is what it looks like. That's it. There's like a little bit on the edges, but it melted pretty fast. I guess that's what happens when it's 34 degrees. I'm going to try and do some work today. I'm going to try and put my office together and then I'm going to try and finally make my little glass top grow box because I've been saying I was going to do that forever and I was supposed to start planting March 6th. It's now the 17th. It's St. Patrick's Day. I'm not wearing green. I may put on some green later too. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the plan for the day. It's not much of a plan, but that's maybe possibly what's happening. I don't know how I'm supposed to get any work done with a pupper in my lap. Huh, Ollie? What am I supposed to do? Oh no. Thank you. So this is going to be the front of my grow box and I went to go mark it for the first cut and this is just used gross wood from out of the yard. Um, so I have no idea what it was used for before but I did notice that the end up here wasn't square. And so we don't have a square <laughs> but what I do have is this notepad that I have my little diagram on and I'm going to pretend that it's square and see if I can't, you know, use it. But then I got it about where I want, you know, to, to make it. Right about there. And I took out my little pencil and this old gross textured wood won't take the mark from the pencil. I don't know if you can see it from there, but like, I can't see it, so that's why I have plan B. This concrete we're standing on is gross and chewed up, and so I have a kind of a sharp piece of it, and I'm gonna use it to gouge the mark into my wood. And I don't know about you, but I can see that a lot better. And hopefully it's square, too. So I'm gonna measure from that mark, because that'll be my first cut. And I know I could be um, taking into account that I'm gonna lose an eighth inch per cut for the blade. Um, and I know I could be doing this a whole lot more um, exact, but this is just, something I'm throwing together in the yard. I'm not really worried about it. Um, what my plan is, is there's the window frame and then there's the actual glass of the window. And I'm gonna have it so that this um, box sits inside the glass so I don't have to have a hinge for it. It'll just sit there and hang there is the goal. <laughs> um, and we'll see. We'll, we'll see if that works. I'll modify later if I need to, but I really don't want to have to go buy a hinge if I can keep from doing that. <laughs> I don't know how well you can tell it, but my patio is a awful, sloppy, muddy mess. And we've done the best we can. I've got 
my piece is um, hanging out over here because the leaves are wet, but at least there's something to stand on. And um, there's like a slab of concrete there that I can use for a semi-level surface while I put it together. But in the meantime, Matthew has decided that it's time to go grocery shopping. So we're going to do that now. Has shopping for food worked up an appetite for more food for you? No. But I'm hungry. Am I right my Burger King? No. Well, you want to get food? <sighs> Maybe. Go ahead with your order, please. Can I get one of the $6 King boxes? So after talking him into going to Burger King, I've also talked him into going to Dollar Tree. Do you have any idea what I'm trying to get here? No. Me either. Let's go. So I think I've decided what I'm gonna get. I'm getting some stuff for starting plants in my little grow box if I ever finish it. And I'm gonna get a couple things for my office. And I was gonna get frozen lemonade, but I'm staring at the cooler and it looks like I have bought them out. There is one left. As always, this has escalated quite quickly. We are home from the grocery store and I have a ton of gross fermentation fails to throw in the compost bin. So I'm about to do that. But first, my compost, since it's thawed, is starting to smell like rotting vegetation. So I have some shredded paper and I'm going to mix that in before I throw the grossness on it. If you missed my fermentation fail. Uh, that's a video on my Facebook page that you should go watch because if failure is your thing, I have it in droves over there. <laughs> As you can see, I still have quite a bit of paper left. Um, I'm gonna burn that box and rinse that bucket out. And I just have uh, confetti all over my compost. You can't really tell how high that is, but that's probably, um, I don't know, like a foot high or so in the middle. Um, but hopefully this helps it break down a little bit better. Everything's been kind of stagnant over the winter, but uh, yeah, hopefully this is progress. So as you can tell by the fairly dramatic lighting change, uh, it's gotten really dark really fast, and I've been putting this off forever. So back over here in the darkness um, is my finished box, and I gotta run in and grab the window and hope that it fits. I was gonna put a bottom on this, but I don't, I'm gonna see what it does without it first. But this is the box. I literally have 
I don't know if that's a two by eight ish thing. I, I literally don't know. Um, in the front, two by eight ish. And then there are two two by sixes in the back, I think. I didn't actually measure them. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then I had some random pieces of two by 12 and I cut those at an angle so it slants slightly. I think I have enough materials to make a second one of these, which would be awesome, but I don't know that I will. We will see, but um, yeah, now I'm just hoping that the window fits on top of it. All right, well, I don't know how well you can see this. It is covered in sawdust. Um, from me sanding in my office, but that is my little grow box. And I hope that it works well for me. If it doesn't, I can modify it later. I think that there are certainly some drafty spots in it, but I'm hoping that that won't matter. If it does, I do have some foam weather stripping that I can use to help seal that off a little bit. But in the meantime, this is what I've got. And I may, like I said, make another one. I don't know over here if you can see. I have some other wood over here. I know I can get at least another front out of this and two more back pieces out of this one here. And then I have quite a, quite a bit of uh, two by 12 pieces left so I can make at least another one. And then I've got, you know, some other spare uh, lumber just kind of chilling in the yard that people who lived here before left. But this is all I'm gonna do tonight. Tomorrow I'm gonna get my baby plant started as it is my first Monday that I don't have to go to work since January, since the first week of January. I'm so excited. So I'm really looking forward to being home for the growing season this year. I'm going to be working from home, so I will be a little bit out of pocket, but I will have the ability to spend my breaks with Ollie and with the garden, which you can see back here just a little bit. I'm hoping by the time that I'm done that it will span most of the backyard, but there's just, there's no telling what Matthew and I are going to be able to do right now. But I had the grow box done. I haven't worked really any on my office, but I think at the very least we're going to run the ethernet cable tonight and then I'll be able to spend tomorrow kind of zhuzhing it up a little bit and making it feel more office-y. <laughs> So anyway, I want to thank you so much for watching and um, make sure that you check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you around. Bye.